In this quick video, which is part of our Epic Next.js course, we're going to take a look how to set up a loading page in Next.js. If you take a look at our application, currently we have our landing page, but when we navigate to sign in, there's no visual cue that something happened. So when we navigate back, wouldn't be nice if we had a loading spinner when we're loading in the next page. There's a couple of different ways to handle this in Next.js, and you could take a look at the documentation. But today we're going to cover handling loading via the loading.js file. If you take a look here, you could see that the loading file is based on suspense, which you could read more about that explains how things are work. Later in our code, we will take a look how to use suspense, but today we're gonna to start with our loading page. So inside of VS Code, in our project, we're going to navigate to the app folder and we're gonna create a new file called loading.tsx. If you've been following this tutorial, you'll find this blog linked in the description below where you could see our snippet for our loading component. Go ahead and copy it and inside VS Code, inside the loading TX file, let's go ahead and paste it. This just has simple Tailwind CSS that's going to show an animated spinner. Now navigating back to our front end, when we switch pages, you could see our little spinner. Isn't this fantastic? If you're wondering why we have our not found page, you could see the previous video, but we haven't yet created our sign in page. So let's go back home and navigate. In the next video, first we're gonna cover how to handle basic errors in Next.js, and then we're going to continue by building out our sign-in and our sign-up forms. See you in the next video.